and it just seemed like some stuff got passed down in the jeans and then Darren <laughs> took it to the next level. So and from there, I uh, just started interning in, um, in uh, Southern California and in, in L.A. and um, worked with, you know, worked on uh, big jobs, Tony Braxton, uh, uh, Janet Jackson jobs, Prince jobs, and then just slowly built my reel and I directed my first music video in uh, 95 and um, from then went, to, uh, went on to do about 100 plus and I would say some of the big ones that you know about would be uh, some classics like Jay-Z and Jermaine, Money Ain't a Thing. Um, I broke uh, Destiny's Child. I, I uh, did all their early stuff from their very first video of No, No, No to Bugaboo to uh, Bills, Bills, Bills. I just so basically, Survivor. We've been, yeah. we've been enjoying a, a lot of your work over the years, much of your work. Yeah, yeah. I mean, And, and who would have known it was little old you? <laughs> <laughs> You know, a brand new artist used to get two fifty, three hundred and fifty thousand. You know, to now, you know, you're lucky if a new artist gets thirty five. Why 50, is that? Can you, is that the economy? Yeah, I mean, but it all starts with you know, it really, the internet just kind of killed everything, and it's just a trickle down. So mm. you know, when the internet hit, you know, we were trying to figure out how to send music over the internet in the beginning, it, or send like you know a document, and um, and it turned into that. It went from that to, you know, swapping music on the internet and Napster. And then it went from that to saying, oh, you know, hip hop became just, the music wasn't that good. You know, 10 years ago, it started getting really bad. And, you know, remember the whole commercialism of hip hop and it just, it wasn't good and it wasn't authentic anymore. And so people started trading songs and swapping songs. They're like, why are we going to buy an album, you know, of 15 songs and one is good or two are good? So like, shoot, I'm just going to, uh, you know find someone that has one song and I'm gonna rip that and use that and so that obviously made the record label suffer and once the record label suffer then their marketing budget suffer and then that's where my position as a music video director that began to suffer so it all was a huge like trickle down you know theory so yeah I mean really I think record labels are actually you know and a lot of them there used to be about 20 labels they've all consolidated over the last 10 years into like three majors you know Universal um, who else? Warner Brothers and you know Interscope and yeah, it used to be a lot like EMI and you know I'm getting deep Electra, but yeah, that's kind of what has affected the music video game and you know record labels in general. It's just it all started with the internet. Okay. Uh, this business, you know, I've done. I have a great resume, but I'm still struggling and striving and fighting every day. And I just, you know, you're as good as your last job. And um, I think for people trying to get in this game, it's really just about patience, persistence, and a little bit of luck and timing, and you got to be good. You have to be. You can't just you can't just think that once you've done something, a record or a movie or a script or a video that you've arrived, you have not. You have to take whatever work you've done and you need to weigh it and compare it against the best in the world. Once you do that and you realize how far you have to go, keep pushing. You know, you just have to keep pushing because it's, 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 you know, I say to myself all the time, no is my drug. You know, you say no to me all day and that just pumps me up. you got to push through it. Jim Carrey, unemployed for 12 years, bam, hit living color, hit the jackpot. Billy Joel lived in a laundromat before he came out with it.